Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, to Girl Vanessa. Today I'm going to be doing a one month update on my splint. Um, so I know the last time I like, well when I showed you guys my splint, like that first day I was like having a breakdown in my car. And um, <laughs> I'm just thinking about how dramatic I was, but like I like legit was so upset and so bothered by like just having to wear this and um, yeah. I stand, I stand with my dramatics that day. Um, but yeah, I'm here to show you guys uh, how my splint is working out. I don't know if you can even tell that I have it on. I have it on. Oh yeah, I have this weird thing on my tongue. I'm gonna have it surgically removed, so don't judge me. I already know about it. Um, <laughs> so, a one month update. It's been weirdly like I'm okay with it like I kind of like have gotten used to it and I'm not really noticing it that I have it on as much but it's just been so complicated and it's very like inconvenient uh in terms of like like if you eat something like I want to brush my teeth all the time um they give you like this this thing just to put like put it in there so I will say I have lost some weight because I haven't been eating uh, as many like snacks throughout the day because like the more I'm eating throughout the day means the more I have to like go and brush my teeth and so sometimes I don't have that luxury during work because uh, before this one I could just like have a pretzel if I wanted a pretzel but now pretzels kind of get everywhere in your teeth so I don't have that time to just continuously go and brush my teeth. Um, I feel like I'm still talking really weird. I've definitely have gotten used to it, but I feel like I still have a lisp. But I feel like it's not noticeable until like I point it out. Uh, but it's very noticeable for me. Uh, I would say the biggest con is that um, we, just because of the way that it is, as you can see, like it's like all the way toward the back. So when I close my mouth, I accidentally bite my cheeks. So. I am already, I'm already very prone to getting uh, kinker sores, so I've been getting kinker sores just right here, and they just like won't go away because I keep biting on it, and it doesn't hurt as much as the other ones, like the usual ones that I get. I think because I just keep getting it in the same spot, so my mouth has just kind of like gotten used to it, but it does, you know, make my head hurt, and um... It is very annoying, like, having it in. In terms of, like, my ear situation, I actually feel like my ears hadn't hurt in a really long time, and then they just started hurting a lot recently, like, in the last two years, or in the last two weeks. Um, so that's annoying, because that was one of the biggest reasons why I, like, went and got this thing, is because I didn't want my ears to hurt anymore, because they were hurting for so long. Um... I will say, like, when I take it off, my bite feels a lot different, and weirdly, I want to put it back in my mouth, because it kind of feels, it's very comforting, and, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, like, kind of comforting in, like, a weird way, um, which I never thought I would say that, like, I'm always like, oh, I gotta put it back in my mouth. Like, you could really tell, like, I could feel, like, my joints kind of moving, if that means anything. Um, so, I actually have been able to eat a lot better. I feel like I'm able to eat things that I feel like I wasn't eating because I was just so nervous. So, like, thicker breads or, um, sometimes it is hard to chew certain things. But if I, would like, chew slowly and cut, them, cut things up, it, um, it, you know, it feels better when I'm chewing. You just gotta, like, see what's right for you, like... For me right now, like, the thought of eating a Snickers, like, it's so chewy and stuff, still sounds like not something I, wa I would want to do. Uh, but for the most part, um, after a month, I would say it's not that bad. I've gotten used to it, but, like, I still have to do this for 11 more months, and that's, like, the fucked up part. So, I'm just trying to wear it every single day, so maybe, like, it's supposed to be a 9 to 12 month process. I'm hoping by month 9 that's when they'll be like oh yeah we could take it off you know so hopefully in, hopefully in September 
I will be able to get it off. That'll be nice. It is well, a little bit comforting, but it's mostly just, like, annoying. Like, I know that it's there. So it's not like... Like, for me, with, like, an actual retainer, I feel like after a while you just forget that it's there. Because it actually covers all your teeth and it's not like... This is like just having, like, a big-ass thing in your mouth that won't let your teeth close. Whereas with a actual retainer, you can't, like, take it out. I mean, you can take it out, but it's, like, it's like molded in, into your teeth. And this is, like, supposed to... I'm supposed to not be able to close my teeth. Touch teeth. Um, yeah, so I think I might not really even see more results until... Um... I don't know, maybe my month three I'll feel a little a little better with it. I definitely don't feel like I have that much saliva. Saliva, oh my god, I can't talk. Saliva as much anymore because I feel like I was producing a lot of saliva because my mouth was like still getting used to it. Um, but I mean, it's not completely like horrible as I thought it would be, but I just like still wish I didn't have to do it. My biggest con is the price. It's $7,000. And this is for phase one, so I might have to pay even more after, like, this whole year is over. Uh, part of me is like, was my jaw really that bad, or are they just trying to get money out of me? But, I mean, I can't, I don't know, it is America, but I can't imagine that they would have me do all those tests and everything, you know? Um... So yeah, mostly because my insurance didn't want to cover any of this, um... So that's annoying. That's why I got to pay the $7,000 and I got to pay it within a year. So that's mostly just the thing that's been giving me the most anxiety is just like figuring out how I'm going to pay all that while I'm like paying off my new car and my insurance and the phone bill and like, you know, rent and like all the other stuff that I'm going to be thinking about. Um, all the other little like things, subscriptions that I have, it all adds up. So it's like... It's just annoying and I just like, although I'm looking forward to like this new year, I'm like also I can't wait for it to be done so I could like start off with the new slate of like not being in so much debt. So pray for me that I could pay this off. Um, but yeah, that's my one month update. I don't know if that was helpful at all. Hopefully I get better at speaking because I feel like I keep slurring my words and I'm so bad at it. And it's also very annoying like if I want to kiss my boyfriend... Like, he told me it feels the same when I, I kiss him, but when when I'm feeling the kiss, when I'm not... Does that make sense? Like, me being the one kissed, like, it feels different. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm being kissed. Whereas he said it feels, like, normal, like we're kissing. So it just feels really weird, and um, hopefully I get used to that, too. And I feel like I've gotten kind of used to it, but I still feel like it makes my mouth just look... Like that, you know, I feel like really weird with it on, but it is what it is, and this is my life, uh, but that's why I'm gonna just make sure my makeup's done so no one even notices it. Like, right now, I don't think you could really notice it unless you're, like, actually paying attention, but, uh, hopefully my ears will, the, the pain will subside. I do feel like my jaw's kind of getting better, but it has been locking up a lot this month, uh, my theory is that, like, this is the first month I have this on and my, my mouth's, like, adjusting and it's, like, I could already feel, like, my joints rotating and, like, moving. So I think that's why I'm having symptoms of, like, ear pain and the jaw locking and stuff. So I think, like, a month two or month three or even, like, a halfway mark, like, a six-month mark update, um... Will probably be more uh, informational. So uh, if you guys want to know, if you want to know like a monthly update all the time, I could do that as well. Um, but yeah, that is my one month splint therapy update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informational. If you have TMJ and you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments, and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Or if you're, there's a specific video you want me to do about TMJ, I'm happy to do that as well. Uh, so I will see you guys later. Bye, cuties.